This is an entry one functional skills sample paper from City and Girls. It's split into two parts. The first part, you can't use a calculator. For the second part, you can. There are eight marks for the first part. Question one, work out 16 at four. And that is 20. So you could do it like this as well. Six and four is 10. One carried over. One and one is two. Subtract eight from 19. So 19 take away eight. Nine take away eight is one. One take away zero is one. So 11 is the answer. Question three, student X, student Y. Choose the correct words to complete the sentence. You can see that student X is taller. So, student X is taller than, which is option B. What is the name of this coin? You can see two pounds. So this is a two pound coin. A bakery has these cakes for sale. A customer wants to buy the cheapest cake. Which cake should the customer buy? So we've got 15 pounds, five, four, 20. Four pounds is the cheapest one. A baker starts to put some cakes on display. He asks his assistant to finish the display with these cupcakes. So cupcakes to go here. What does the baker tell his assistant? Finish this sentence. Please put the cupcakes, the chocolate cake. So that is below the chocolate cake. A customer at the bakery has a £20 note. Her shopping costs £15. This is how she works out how much change she will get. So 20 take away 15 equals 5. Show how the customer can check her answer. So £15 is the cost of the shopping. Add the £5 that she's getting as change. That is equal to 20, which is what she had to begin with. The baker asked the trainee to check how many packets of gold candles he ordered. This is the order. So gold candles, two of them. What does the trainee tell the baker? Two packets. This is the end of the first part. Now for the second part you can use a calculator. There are 24 marks for the second part. Question one, write this month in the correct order. Start with January.
we haven't got February, then March, April is not, May, June, July, August, September not, October, and we've got them all there. 17 add 0 or nothing equals just 17. Nothing has changed. Which one of these roads is the widest? Tick one. The widest of them all is D. A man wants to order a cake before the bakery closes. The bakery closes at 5 o'clock. The man checks the time on his watch. Is the bakery open now? Yes. Reason. It will close in in one hour's time. It's only four o'clock. The man wants to buy a medium-sized birthday cake. He has this amount of money. So he has 10 and 5, 15 pounds. Then we have birthday cake order form, We've got chocolate cake, medium costs 16 pounds. Sprinkle cake, medium, 11 pounds. Tick the cake he needs to buy. How much is this cake? Give units with your answer. Okay, so he only had 15 pounds, so he can't buy the chocolate cake, medium size. He's going to need to buy the sprinkle cake, which costs 11 pounds. And sprinkle Take the coins he should get in his change. So the cost of it is eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, so four pounds. A baker wants a trainee to cut biscuits with this cutter. She has this order, biscuit order. Five circle, six triangle, three rectangle, four square. How many biscuits should the trainee cut with this cutter? As this is a triangular shape, so six triangle ones. So six biscuits. The baker has these biscuits. Tick the square biscuits the baker needs for the order. The square biscuits. So, the bakery sells cupcakes in these boxes. How many boxes of cupcakes does she need to order? Give reason for your answer. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number of boxes 
that should be 2. The reason, because 9 and 9 equals 18. So just one box is not enough. She tells the baker she will pick up the cakes at one o'clock. Which of these clocks shows the time she will pick up the cakes? Tick one. So this is showing one o'clock. A baker wants the tally chart to show the number of biscuits that were left at the end of the day. The trainees start to draw the tally chart. These are the nut biscuits that were left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen of them. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We've completed the tally chart. How many more nut biscuits than cherry biscuits were left? So we're going to compare nut with cherry biscuits, nut biscuits with cherry biscuits. So nut 15 and cherry 4. So 15, take away 4. A baker made 16 brown loaves this morning. He asked the trainee how many brown loaves they sold. These are the brown loaves that they had left at the end of the day. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 were left at the end of the day. 16 were made and 7 are left. So 16 take away 7 gives us 9. So they sold 9. The baker wants a chart to show the numbers of loaves sold today. We've got Number of loaves, white loaves and brown loaves. Question is drawing the bar for brown loaves. So we've got to go, so I'm going to leave a gap of one square and I'm going to go up to nine because that's how many brown loaves were sold. Three squares wide, so joining the dots now. Explain what your chart shows about the numbers of loaves sold. More white than brown loaves were sold. And this is the end of the section as well as the end of the paper.